As part of a research project currently underway at the Vineland Research and Innovation Center, consumers soon will be able to purchase new varieties of fresh grapes grown in Canada. We started this project in 2014 in collaboration with the Ontario Fresh Grape Growers. Uh, we are looking for new varieties to bring into the marketplace. They have always had an interest to grow another variety. Where, um, right now there's only one variety that they kind of maintain is a Sovereign Coronation. That's kind of the industry standard and they're always looking for something else uh, to diversify their marketplace because many grapes are being imported and Ontario growers are like, hey, why can't Vineland discover some new varieties from us from around the world? And that kind of project started in 2014, and this will be the first crop that we're able to see from these six new varieties. The center is scouting the world for new fresh grape varieties suited to our climate with consumer appeal. Through basic uh, industry connections uh, throughout the world, um, getting to know different variety owners, that was a big, uh, big step in networking and also just uh, searching out on, on through uh, research publications and what's happening kind of in the in the early stage development of varieties um, instead of by instead of going just going to the grocery store and working backwards I guess so the project provides a unique opportunity for the Ontario table grape industry to reach new consumers with seedless grape varieties definitely looking for seedless I would say that's the number one character uh, good eating experience and also a different different type of berry, a different shape. Um, that seems to be the kind of the three areas that are attracting the consumers, but it comes down to eating experience. And that's what Vineland is hoping to achieve by introducing these six varieties, but also other varieties into the future. Um, capturing that consumer eating experience is, is a big goal for Vineland. 2016 is the first season where the fruit in the test block will be evaluated. A number of characteristics will be assessed including yield, fruit quality, along with cold tolerance. These varieties that we have planted here now and any future varieties are not, not GMO and uh, uh, there's no GMO research happening at Vineland. Um, that's just, that's we're traditional, traditional breeding and that's the way we want to keep it. The goal is to have the new varieties in stores for 2021. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.